everyone, so today I thought I would film another food haul video. I really enjoy watching these and I enjoyed filming my last one, so I just got a Tesco delivery last night and I thought I would show you what I got. So I am a vegan, I've said that in lots of videos, so all this stuff is vegan and I'm also a student, so I try to eat quite cheaply. Uh, I do do the shop with my boyfriend, so this is enough food for two people and it will probably last us about two weeks. There's a little bit less than we normally order because we went to Dublin last week, which meant we had quite a lot of food like left over in the freezer and things. So a lot of freezer things I haven't ordered this time that I normally order, things like frozen berries and veggie mints. That's usually a staple for me, but we've got some of that already in the freezer. And also the way we tend to do it is we do a big online shop to get all of the main things, get all of the heavy things like soy milks that we don't wanna lug from the shops. And we do that every two weeks. And then usually on the second week, we go to the supermarket and just get a few fresh things, like five pounds worth of fresh food. But this, for the most part, will last us two weeks. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I got. So apologies about the lighting. I understand my face is very white at the moment. Um, the curtains are closed and it just happens to be a very sunny day. So this is happening. I'm also in my living room at the moment because I didn't want to lug all the food upstairs. And also, like I just said, we got it delivered last night, which means a couple of things we've opened already. Um, it didn't come until the evening yesterday, so I couldn't film this because it was like completely dark. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started with the frozen stuff because that is about to defrost. So the first thing that I got were these vegan chicken pieces. These actually didn't used to be vegan. They used to have egg in. And when I first saw that these had gone vegan, I ordered a bunch opened it and just as I was opening it I looked at the back of the packet and they'd sent me one of like the old stock which still had egg in and I was so mad because like well one that's really dangerous because that's an allergen and online it didn't state that it had egg in and two I was so excited to try it and then found that it had egg in so I gave it to a housemate but they are all now vegan I'm pretty sure that was like I think while they were just swapping them over but I've not had any issues since, and these are my absolute favorite vegan chicken substitute. I much prefer these to corn. I just think they're so good. They're really good in a pie. So if you saw my last What I Eat In A Day, I made a chicken and mushroom pie in it, and I used these. They're also really good in things like fajitas. These are just an absolute staple for me and Will. So I've actually got three bags of them. It's three for four pounds from Tesco's with a load of veggie stuff. So I just got three lots of chicken. Because also these bags are quite small. I think they say they serve three, but we usually use one bag per meal that we make. So I've got three of them. I then got some frozen green beans. I absolutely love green beans. I think these are probably one of my favorite vegetables. And I love having frozen veg in the freezer. So if we don't have anything fresh, we still have some vegetables. I like these on the side for like any meal, like roasts or pies, or these are also really good if you put them in a saucepan or a frying pan with a little bit of butter and like garlic and chili flakes, just as like a side to any meal. They're super good. And these were one pound 10. The only other frozen item that I got was phyllo pastry, which I've actually never ordered before. I usually always get puff pastry, that's my pastry of choice. Um, but this is suitable for vegans, it says on the back. And I just thought of doing something a bit different this week. Maybe some sort of like phyllo parcel or something. I'm not really sure yet, but I got this and it was £1.60. We also got a garlic bread, just like the 40p cheap garlic bread that is accidentally vegan. But we did eat that last night, so I can't show you that. But obviously garlic bread, uh, you can have garlic bread whenever. There's You don't need a reason to have garlic bread. We had it as a side yesterday for spaghetti bolognese. Next, moving on to fresh like fruits and veg and stuff. I got some kale. This again is very different for me. I have never got kale before. I'm a little bit of a kale hater, if I'm honest. But I saw a recipe and I wanted to try it that involves kale. I wanna start making like a big batch of salad or something at the beginning of the week to take to uni with me. And I thought that this would be good to get some more vitamins in and hopefully I can find a way to make it taste a bit nicer and not like your chew like forever because that's like the worst thing about kale is that you chew and chew and chew and it's like still there but I got some kale I thought I would try something different this week and yeah I'm gonna see if I can make this taste good and this was one pound this lighting is really bothering me I don't think there's anything I can do to sort it I could probably sort out some sort of exposure thing but haven't worked that out yet I'm working on it I'm gonna get better at using my camera so I'm really sorry about that but I also got some spinach for a pound same sort of bag that is currently opened in my fridge. I didn't want to bring it in because I knew spinach would go everywhere. But spinach is an absolute staple for us. We get through so much of it. We'll definitely buy another next week to top up. And we have it, any meal you could think of, we'll put spinach in it 
just just because so you know pastas curries sandwiches anything we'll put spinach in i then got some tofu i like the tofu brand a little bit more expensive but i would say it's definitely worth it i find the cauldron brand just like crumbles and doesn't like even if you press it, it just is like crumbly and i don't like it as much as this which is much more firm and this was two pounds so i'll have this maybe on a salad or for stir fries i quite like just putting it in a pan with a little bit of sesame oil and cooking it like that also top tip is to like when you cut it up into your cubes or whatever put it in a bowl of cornstarch first and kind of coat it with that and then put it in the oil because it makes it go a lot crispier so yeah that's what i'll do with this i then got some vegan yogurts these were one pound 25 and this is in the blueberry flavor which i've not had i find yogurts are quite a staple for me i always get them in my shops because they're the kind of snack that i'll have just whenever if i need just something to eat real quick or i'm just a little bit hungry i'll have a yogurt so yeah last week i tried the mango ones this week i'm trying the blueberry ones um i do really like the outpro ones as well and my absolute favorites are the outpro go on pots like the thick yogurt with the stuff at the bottom they're super good but they are 95p or something absolutely insane and i'm not paying that for a yogurt so i will only buy outpro stuff when it's on sale which it wasn't so i got the tesco own version then in terms of veg i first got this massive family pack of mushrooms for £1.85 now we will get through these real quick we have mushrooms with everything like spinach um like even with the wraps and stuff for lunch we'll fry up some mushrooms to put in them super good love mushrooms we'll put them in absolutely everything then we've got two things of peppers these are 95p each again go in everything stir fries fajitas love peppers not quite happy with the green to red ratio if i'm honest <laughs> i really don't like green peppers and this is like a massive green pepper and two smaller red peppers you know get your game together tesco i don't want these green peppers sometimes you get like three and it's like red orange yellow and then like that's when you've won, you know? But green peppers I don't mind so much in fajitas, so that's probably what I'll do with that. I then got a couple of lemons and a lime, all 35p each. This isn't that normal for me, I don't always get this, but I love putting lime in guacamole, so if we ever have fajitas or nachos or anything, we'll have guacamole with it. So that's why I got a lime, and also I'm planning on making some hummus, so I got a lemon to put in that. And also it's just quite nice to have a lemon in the fridge, I don't know if that's me. It makes me feel very adult. <laughs> So if I ever fancy lemon water or something, I have a lemon to hand, so I just got those. Then got some carrots, 47p. I feel like I just need to hold something here every time to make the lighting <laughs> less ghost-like, but carrots, obviously, you can put them in most things. I love carrots dipped in hummus, which is what I thought, because I think if I'm making hummus, I've got carrots to dip in it. And also I will have this like on a side with pie or a roast or any sort of meal that's like that. So carrots, super cheap, very versatile. I got some sweet potatoes for a pound. These I'm gonna make some soup with. So uh, last week, I think it was, I made a sweet potato and red pepper and coconut soup, which is like my mom's recipe. It's my absolute favorite soup and it went down well. So I think I'm gonna make that again this week. So I got some sweet potatoes for that. I never think to use sweet potatoes when I buy them. So literally the only thing I use them for is soup normally. But I do like them in other things. I like sweet potato mash and I like sweet potato chips. Also, I like mixing these with normal potatoes for like mashed on top of a shepherd's pie or something. So I might do that with the other leftover potatoes. I then got the biggest courgette ever. And like I did it on the weighing thing. So this was like 99p, which I would have not spent on a courgette because I don't really want this much courgette. <laughs> And I never normally get courgette or aubergine, which I also got, but I want to make some sort of ratatouille or something. So that is why I got this yeast of a courgette, and that was a pound. And then, like I just said, got an aubergine, which is literally smaller than the courgette. That doesn't make any sense, but this was 70p. And again, I'm going to put that in some sort of ratatouille, I think. And then in terms of fruit, I got a big bunch of 10 bananas, which came to 98p. They're all really little ones, though, which is really annoying but I left them in the kitchen and I can't be bothered to go get them now. And then I also got some apples, garlic apples are my fave. Um, these are actually swapped. I got like the cheap version that were £1.60, but these are like the fancy organic ones, you know? So feeling real fancy, but that was a substitution, which was actually a good substitution for once because I always find that if they ever substitute anything, they always get it wrong. Like last time they swapped my butter for like normal butter 
which was just really annoying <laughs> because they sell like five different dairy-free butters and they swapped it for a regular butter so that went back but this substitution I'm very happy for I can eat my fancy organic apples and I pretty much just have these for snacks I bring them into uni most days and then for cupboard food I got two of these massive instant coffees the cheap stuff two pounds each this is what Will drinks he's weird he likes like the cheap stuff so got two of them because he gets through this very quickly I then got six soy milks which seems like a lot they're 59p each but I just like to have a lot in because you can't get this cheap stuff in any of like our local Tesco's because they're really small and they don't sell this and I don't really want to spend more than 59p on a thing of soy milk so this is my favourite I think it tastes fine and we we do get through quite a lot to be fair between the two of us so I've got six of these and obviously have this in tea breakfasts also good in like savoury things because it's not sweetened so I'll put this in like creamy sauces and stuff as well. I then got two sauces so this was opened yesterday by Will. This was on offer for £1.35. Will gets through a lot of this and like I mean a crazy amount you wouldn't believe. <laughs> like this will be gone well considering that's how much is gone in from one meal I don't know if you can see that. This will probably be gone in a week but it was on offer for £1.35 which was good. It's massive. We get through this a lot. And then alongside that, I've got a bottle of Sriracha. I absolutely love this. This will also go quite quickly, probably not as quick, but this was on offer for two pounds. So got one of these as well. Absolutely love this. Put this on pretty much everything as well. The next thing I got was this jar of roasted red peppers. This is not a normal buy for me. This is not really a student food. This was one pound 40, but I mean, I love roasted peppers, love them. And I just thought as a little treat, I would get them because like I said, I want to make hummus and I want to make a roasted red pepper hummus, I'm thinking. So that's why I got these, just as a little treat. I'm honestly <laughs> listening to myself back. I'm like, wow, I'm such a loser. I consider peppers in a jar a treat, but I do. And they were £1.40, so they are a treat, but I'm very excited to have these. I then got two cans of coconut milk, which were on offer for a pound, which is why I got like the Blue Dragon brand, which is quite fancy. Would usually get the cheaper brand, but I thought considering these were half price, I think got two of them. Now I will put this in my sweet potato and coconut soup I mentioned and also in curries. I pretty much always use coconut milk because I like creamy curries so I got two of them. And then in terms of the carbs that I bought we did already have pasta in so I didn't need to get any more of that and we also had like a loaf of bread in the freezer still well some of it left so it didn't get any more of that. But I did get this <laughs> massive pack of little bread rolls that you put in the oven and bake yourself. Me and Will love these. When I make soup, we have them with that. So that's why I got these. And also I just thought it makes sense to get a bigger pack. Saves a little bit of money. This will last us a while and nothing is nicer than like hot baked bread with soup. So very excited for that. And this was £1.50. I then got a kilogram bag of basmati rice. This was £1.60. Rice is like the only thing that I buy not the cheapest version of. So I think Tesco sell like a rice that's like 40p or something, which is really, really cheap. But I found that it's like really, really stodgy and starchy and it just kind of goes to mush even if you rinse it. So that is why I splash the cash and I buy, you know, this, this bad boy, not even like the fancy stuff, just not the cheapest stuff. And obviously we'll have rice with chilies and curries and everything like that. And then the final thing that I got is this excessive amount of wraps. This is four lots of eight wraps for 95p each. Will gets through a lot of wraps. He'll get through these probably in two weeks. So we'll see. A lot of wraps, but I'll obviously have them as well if we have fajitas or something. And yeah, that's what we got. So that is everything that I got in my Tesco shop. I'm now absolutely surrounded by food. And I've also just realized that I completely forgot to put the freezer food back in the freezer, which means it's probably gonna be defrosted. But oh well, that is everything that a vegan student buys for a couple of weeks for two people. I hope this was maybe interesting to some of you, maybe helpful for some of you that are doing shops or something. I don't know. I just find these really interesting to watch. I think I'm just quite nosy. I like seeing what other people buy. Let me know any other video requests you want to see from me. If there's any like food related videos you want to see or recipes with these ingredients or anything, let me know and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!